Hey guys, welcome back to Clockwise Crypto. Hope you guys are moving forward to everything that you do. Diving right into it here, taking a look at the markets and also going over some market updates and actually talking about the why behind why we've chosen some of the projects we've chosen and some some of the reason why it was because of pure fundamentals, research driven, how they were operating and other reasons the stars just aligned. And it seems like great minds think alike when it comes to projects joining forces. Now, let's take a look here quickly at Bitcoin. Bitcoin cleared that level we had sitting there at about 72,000. We said if a broker close above this level, it tops off. It aligned with the uh, president, U.S. presidential uh, election decision. Shot up, went crazy, still going. Bitcoin currently sitting at about 90. 91,000 or so and uh everything's going crazy right now guys this is what a bull run looks like so imagine this for months <laughs> this is what the bull run looks like this is our third bull run so um be uh be prepared for this and quality projects thrive okay yes there are some high risk plays that we have but the quality projects thrive for sure so let's go into a market update here united states over here uh 18 states sue the SEC over unconstitutional overreach of digital assets, pretty much uh, putting a pause on the bull run, right? Putting a pause on everything uh, the best they could. Uh, we would probably be a lot higher if there was a lot more um, embracing crypto. It, and to be honest, it just wasn't embraced, guys. It wasn't embraced. It was it was frowned upon. And then as soon as there's election overturn, obviously, all we, all we see now is embrace, embrace. People are coming out. People are, aren't afraid to take a stance for it. We have states that are putting Bitcoin on their balance sheets now, okay, in a matter of a week or two, right? Even a week, week and a half. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> so uh, now they're pretty much suing uh, the SEC because unconstitutional overreach to digital assets no and essentially no regulatory clarity because this this hindered crypto growth in america because of what was being done from a legal standpoint from the sec so uh on thursday afternoon 18 states filed to sue the sec and its five commissioners accusing them of unconstitutional overreach and unfair persecution of the three trillion dollar cryptocurrency industry under the leadership of agency chief gary gensler so this is led by kentucky attorney general russell coleman the lawsuit was jointly filed in kentucky district court in partnership with 17 other republican attorney generals from nebraska west virginia iowa tennessee texas mississippi montana arkansas ohio kansas missouri indiana utah louisiana south carolina oklahoma and florida crazy so the complaint was filed in collaboration with the crypto advocacy group DeFi Education Fund, which advocates for sound policy in the DeFi space. OK, so a ton, a ton happening here, a ton happening here. And we'll see how this plays out. Ultimately, what's probably going to happen is he's going to resign as soon as President Trump gets in office. He's going to be out of there. OK, and uh it's unfortunate because I really believe that Gary Gensler had, was in. You ever see someone in the right place, right time, right opportunity? He had an opportunity, but he, he couldn't be due to due to his superiors, in a sense, not being pro crypto and wanting to dumb it down, right? And so there's really really no way around it because uh, ultimately because uh, it was. <laughs> It was just not a priority. You know, he really was in the right place, right time. And President elect Donald Trump was iffy about crypto. And I'm honestly against crypto. And that was aligned with Gary Gensler. New president comes in office, stays the same way, doesn't evolve. President elect Trump evolves his stance in crypto. He involves his stance around Bitcoin. New information changes situations, right? It gets informed, kind of, kind of gets, gets, uh, sees the, sees the potential right Gary Gensler stays the same doesn't evolve to now where <laughs> uh President elect Trump comes back in office getting back in office and now he is uh still not changing his tune so uh it's it's one of those things where he was in the right position to embrace the technology 
perfect position to make an impact and chose not to. So uh, he will probably be out uh, within the next 60 days. Um, he'll probably be out 45, 60 days. He'll probably be out of there. And uh, and someone will be appointed and it'll be a new regime of embracing crypto because really what they're saying, President Trump is saying that, you know, we need to embrace crypto. We can see this here. Um, we can see this here in a couple articles here. You know, we he pretty much states that the industry needs to be embraced, right? And and Trump to Maria, U.S. must embrace crypto. We see it right there, okay? And uh, that's just not what's being done by Gary Gensler, unfortunately. So going on to the next article, going to talk about two blockchain projects that we talked about the other day, Cardano and Hedera. Uh, and guys, I didn't know, you know, at least here, like at Cloudcross Crypto, we didn't know that Cardano and Hedera were forming an alliance. We didn't know that they would actually come together. I know it was talked about. You saw talks. You saw people asking, hey, you need to get... We didn't know. Okay. I w we were basing... And I was basing off, you know, for our, from an investing standpoint, pure fundamental research driven, what we see, roadmaps, what they're trying to do, what they've accomplished so far, the method of, method in which they're doing it. Cardano was the was the standard for me. And I looked at Hedera and yes, Hedera's proof of stake as well, but the how they're doing it mattered more the scientific approach the the partnerships the the vision right that mattered more to me than than you know oh they're not the sexiest they're not the coolest right i it mattered more to me the how and it just so happens with cardano's framework the next best thing to cardano from a from a from an execution standpoint or how things are done it was hedera and so the stars really aligned uh, with that. I did not know about this DREC alliance. I'll just let you guys know that. I did not know about this <laughs> DREC alliance. And uh, I just think it was, <laughs> it really was just the stars aligning because our research was more so solely about the how, how things are getting done. And, uh, you know, the process, the scientific approach and, uh, you know, the peer reviewed approach that's that's what attracted us to the investment and uh this pretty much just stars aligning here so um here they here they announced uh that iohk and hedera have joined the algorand hashgraph ripple and xrp as the final founding members of the decentralized recovery alliance with two-year seats on the technical oversight committee providing endpoint or governance and core alliance policies now you guys may not know i do we do hold a bag of algorand full disclosure we hold hold up we hold ripple of course we hold uh hedera and we hold um yeah we hold algorand cardano hedera and ripple we full disclosure all right now i did not know about this it just so happens that they all think alike and we're aligned with with how they do things so uh that's that was is pretty cool to see and uh you know to be honest with you the stars are aligning for these projects all right because if you look at what's happening with charles hoskinson with cardano he said he said on his his live it's very clear that he's going to be involved in some capacity in the u.s government uh whatever capacity that is uh he's he's going to be involved in crypto policy right and it's already been said that if you are if your crypto is u.s they're looking to remove capital gains tax okay so and i haven't seen that confirmed directly from trump but i've read a couple few articles that that's what it's looking like guys so uh very exciting times to be in crypto extremely exciting exciting times to be in crypto and uh we everyone asks like how do we how do we catch adara right and, you know, I know that's been a question, right? And, I, guys, we don't have – I don't have that insider, right? All this is just from the ground. It's all just research. It's all just reading. We rewrite papers. We read uh, articles. We, we look we look at the, the leadership team. We look at the partnerships. Like, we looked at the governing council. Like, this was a no-brainer for us. We look – you know, we talk with the CEOs. You know, most of them are pretty accessible, most of them didn't become divas, right? It's easy to talk to most CEOs, um, even Vitalik. Like, Vitalik's accessible, okay? 
like these guys are pretty accessible right now. So uh, you're able to talk and just see like what's the vision. Like they'll, they'll never talk price with you, right? But they'll tell you the vision for the project, right? What's the vision? You have these partnerships. Like how is that, you know, what does that look like when it comes to, you know, growing this ecosystem, right? So you partner with Google. What does that look like? Right. And be able to gather as much information as possible before you make a decision. Um, and that's why, and that, you know, looking at, looking here, look at, look at this, looking at this governing council alone, it's almost a no brainer. Right. Of course you can't, you can't go solely off of this. Like, of course this comes with, okay. Peer reviewed research team. Uh, you know, look at the TPS, look at how it compares to other blockchains. Look at, um, you know, have they had any outages or, you know, what are the current hurdles they're facing and, and the entire gamut you want to look at the big picture. And that's what we saw with Hedera. And it, to be honest with you, it was the most, ironically, it was the most, uh, aligned with Cardano. So uh, I wasn't I'm not kind of, you know, one of these guys where I think Cardano is one tried and true. I think there's going to be multiple blockchains and that's the importance of interoperability. Right. You're able it doesn't it won't even matter what blockchain you're on because they're all going to be to be able to speak to each other if you have the right interoperability protocol within the blockchain. So that's the power of it. And you look at e-voting right and what they're doing i just think it's going to be a beast guys this is an opportunity of a lifetime and uh we look at cardano's cardano's governance and we see pretty much a ton of different uh opportunities and you also see the priorities for development the roadmap here you guys know how i love roadmaps you guys know how i love roadmaps right and Hedera, Hedera, a very transparent roadmap where they're at, what they've accomplished, what's been completed, what's not been completed. And, uh, you know, that's that's transparency. And to be honest with you, Cardano laid the framework of what a roadmap should look like. Right. Because they were saying, look, we're about 25 percent complete on this behind schedule, but we're working on it and didn't didn't give into the pressure of being pushed. Right. If it's not ready, it's not ready. Right. And. uh Love what I'm seeing from Cardano. Love what I'm seeing with this DREC uh, alliance, enabling mass market decentralized recovery and providing a framework that's really going to change the world. It's going to change the world immediately. Uh, and uh, this is this is amazing, guys. You have an opportunity to be a part of something that is going to pretty much lay the front, lay the foundation and the framework for you know generations to come this technology is only going to get better it's only going to get better from here it's not gonna it's you're only gonna go forward so very excited about what i'm seeing here guys take a look at these projects no not financial advice is what we're doing uh you're seeing who's elite there's a reason why the united states is talking or you know the governments are talking with cardano and Hedera. there's a reason why they're not talking with other platforms okay there's a reason if your platform has outages every other month every month that's not really a platform you want to build an economy on top of flat out you've seen cardano withstand uh attacks and just keep moving the machine keeps moving because they took the time and they built it the right way all right so I'm not saying you can't make money with other blockchains. You can. All right. You can. But think big picture. What would you choose if you owned a country? Let's say you owned a country. What would you choose to to utilize as a blockchain if you owned a country? You would choose this. What's the safest? What's the most secure? What's the most flexible? What's the most cost effective? What's the most energy efficient? Right. You, you would choose that. You wouldn't go off a of hype. You would go like, listen, I only have one shot to do this. If I if I mess this up, I'm mess up the whole population, <laughs> the way population does things. Right. So just think about that. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the things that we th we thought about when we look at the growth and the opportunity in front of us when it comes to really adopting this blockchain tech. So, guys, just wanted to highlight that. And uh, very exciting times, guys. Hope you guys got some value out of this video. Keep moving forward in everything that you do. We'll see you soon.